Let's stay with Madaraka Day celebrations and it's 52 years after Kenya attained self-rule but not much has changed for Kenyans in northeastern region. Marking Madaraka Day is thus not a cause for celebration here but an acknowledgement that there is so much more that needs to be done for these Kenyans to stop feeling that they are from the other Kenya. <laughs> and color at the Madaraka Day celebrations. 52 years of self-rule and so much to celebrate. Only, not everyone is celebrating. In the northeastern region, things seem to be going from bad to worse. Insecurity tops their bucket full of problems. From inter-clan clashes to terror attacks, the region has for years not known peace. Hatakama tutaleta Maafisa wa usalama kiwango gani nataka niwaambie wananchi Garissa itapata usalama kutokana na nyinyi kutokana na nyinyi hapana mtu wote 2014 Mandera bus attack that saw 22 teachers shot dead triggered what has now turned into a full blown crisis in the education sector in Garissa Mandera and Wajir counties teachers would not work in an area where their safety was not assured all teachers teaching in Northeastern, and they are not residents of Northeastern, don't go back. Don't go back. Don't try. Over 1,000 teachers did not return to work. Learning in the region went from being paralyzed to a full-blown crisis, as announced by the Education Cabinet Secretary last week. 95 education institutions which have been closed because of insecurity. Garissa University College has been closed indefinitely following last month's attack that left 148 people dead. The Northeastern Technical Training Institute is also closed. But education is not the only thing on its knees in the region. Health too, as public health workers were also a part of the exodus from the region. Doctors Without Borders has relocated some of their staff to Nairobi, citing persistent insecurity. The institution provides the much-needed medical assistance to Dadaab refugees. As a result of the relocation of staff, two health posts out of four have already been closed, and some medical services such as antenatal care have been suspended. Add to this the inadequate medical infrastructure available. And if President Uhuru Kenyatta wants to take us, take us to another direction, Your Excellency, Northeastern, Lazima Tuelezewa, Kama Sisi ni wa Kenya, Ama Sisi siya wa Kenya, Tujipange Mapema. It does not get better for a community that often deals with discrimination and ethnic profiling. Days ago, there was the spread of shocking images on social media of a policeman beating some young men who appeared to have already been arrested. Many have been calling for urgent interventions in the region. In an article in the Standard newspaper on Sunday, Mandera Senator Bill Okero in an open letter to the president writes, and I quote, Mr. President, residents feel abandoned and left to their fate. Al-Shabaab is reportedly recruiting our youth, not just in mosques and madrasas, but more so in our universities, sports fields, and corporate institutions. End of quote. <laughs> Various measures to curb insecurity in the region, including offering amnesty to radicalized youth, have to this point not been reported to bear fruit. Locals, and indeed the whole of Kenya, continue to wait for urgent, effective measures that will perhaps finally create normalcy in the region. But as today, for the region, it is not yet Madaraka. Sharma Mani, KTN.